Here's the field for tonight's second race. Stallion and Gelding, Maiden claiming, exact to end trifecta wagering one red hot butler. Owned and driven by Jeff Dennis. Two, Spike's Big Guy, owned by John Croner with Charlie Schoonover. Three is You Dreamer, owned by Nell Blue with Rainsman Ryan Holton for Raven Elmer. Owned by Walter Kaplinger with Jeff Smith. Five, Can't Change Destiny, owned by Joe Porter, Gerald Meyer, and Rocky Stidham. Sean Mayhew is in the bike. Six, Gibby's Boy, owned by Gertrude Morgan in the bike, Jack Morgan. Seven is Scratched. Eight is Huckleberry Finn, owned by Rosalind Fisher with Mark Winters. Nine, Siren Surprise, owned by Ruth Carroll with Dan Ader. And number 10 is Racy Chairman, owned by Pamela Wengerd. Robert Timmons, Jonathan Wengerd will be in the Selkie. Field for the second race, exact and trifecta scratch the seven, six minutes till post. Starting gate is underway. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Spike's big guy between horses takes the lead. There goes Siren Surprise rushing up on the far outside. Raven Elmer, middle of the racetrack. They're down the backstretch. A little bit rough further back in the field. Can't change destiny as they roll to the quarter mile pole. Spike's big guy by a length and a half. The nine is off stride. Siren Surprise is on a break. Raven Elmer is in the second, followed by Red Hot Butler, third. From out of the second tier, Racy Chairman, fourth. You Dreamer is fifth. They're by the opening quarter in a good 29 seconds flat. Moving past the stands, Gibby's boy, Huckleberry Finn. Here's Siren Surprise back down pacing, and the other breaker is also back into it. Can't change destiny as they move under the finish line the first time. Spike's big guy for Charlie Schoonover has him over to the rail by two. Around the clubhouse turn, Spike's big guy trying to make every polo winning one leads the way. Right there in second, Raven Elmer. Red Hot Butler comes to the outside. You Dreamer is also ranged up there at the halfway point. In a minute and two fifths, they're down the backstretch. Field of nine is now hub to hub. Spike's big guy is rolling right along. Spike's big guy, Raven Elmer, the stalker second. Followed by Red Hot Butler moving up on the outside. Followed by Racy Chairman along the rail. You Dreamer live cover. Off the rail comes Gibby's boy. Moving up on the far outside, Siren Surprise. Huckleberry Finn and Can't Change Destiny by three quarters and one, 29 and four. Moving around the far turn. Charlie Schoonover draws the sword on Spike's big guy. He responds. Off the turn in the stretch. They're on their way home. Spike's big guy continues to lead the way. Raven Elmer is next. Between horses, Red Hot Butler. Siren Surprise, You Dreamer is up on the far outside. Spike's big guy is life and death to hold. Spike's big guy, Raven Elmer second, tight for third. Number three, You Dreamer was third and one. Red Hot Butler was fourth. Here comes the unofficial winner of the second race, number two, Spikes Big Guy. Three-year-old Black Coat by Towner's Big Guy to Spikes End, owned in Athens by John F. Croner. Driven and trained wire-to-wire -wire by Charlie Schoonover, covering the mile here in 201 and 1. That will establish a lifetime best for number two, Spikes Big Guy, the winner. Exact a 114.80. The try, 250.20. Daily double, seventeen dollars and forty cents. Next post at eight fourteen.
Tap down, Red Hot Butler fourth. Spike's big guy, the winner, you Dreamer third. Raven Elmer second. Can change destiny seventh. Gibby's boy ninth. E.C. Walker scratched off the program. Huckleberry Finn was eighth. Siren Surprise fifth. Racy Chairman sixth. 413, 279, scratch 85 and 6, the mile 201 and 1. No changes in the third. Super Factor Wagering. 